Well guys, I am at it again. Tell you what, we've had some cold, drizzly, lousy weather the last few days. I'll be anxious to see what that does to water temps, but I'm on the lake. I'm going to catch some fish, hopefully. Stick with me. All right, well, last few days have been very cold, probably about 20 degrees below normal, cloudy, damp, drizzly, just all around yucky weather. So finally got the sun out, front came through, got a light north breeze. We'll see how much that affects anything. For all this cool stuff, water temperature is down to 57. We were up in the low 60s. So we've lost about five degrees of water temp these last four or five days. But get some sun out, 60s and 70s, and I saw a long range there. Now they're talking 80s next week. We have that. We'll warm back up in a hurry. There we go. Vegetation or fish? That's a fish. Wasn't fighting too good, so I wasn't too sure. But it's fish. We caught a fish. Got him. There he is. Now he's caught. He's, he's in the boat now. All right. Hooked you from the outside in, didn't I? You was taking a swipe at it. There we go. He ain't big. He's a fish. And that's that new lure. All right. It's fish. All right. So back there, we were going along coming down to this spot, but we were going along about 10 feet of water and all of a sudden it switched to six feet. So I shut off the trolling motor quick to make a few casts. That's where I caught that fish. And we went back to 10. Now we're just coming back up again to what I was planning on doing before, where it gets down to about seven feet right up ahead of me. Let's see if we can duplicate what we just did. There we go, right here by the boat. Right here in the same, shallow it up a little bit. Yeah, right here in the same area. All right. Get a hold of him here. Whoa, there we go. Get that out. Get that out. There we go, that same bluegill style lure. Not real big. Hold him real close to the camera. They get this bigger, right? I had to go back and see if I can get another one quick before I move off this deep area into this, off the shallow area into a deep area. All right, guys, here's what I'm gonna do. Right over in here is where I caught the first fish, second fish. Then I worked my way up, went that whole rocky or broken up concrete bank with a jig. Had, thought I had one, had a hit. Wasn't a hit. I just, oh, there we go. <laughs> All I ended up with was the scale. Had a hook in the scale, might have been a big old carp or something up in there, I don't know. Uh, that was it for there. Came on a point over here, just tried that, had one on, lost it. So it's been about a half hour, 45 minutes since I've been over here. So before I go to another part of the lake, I'm gonna swing right back, go back where I started, where I caught those two fish just a little bit ago, see if we can find another one. All right, here we go. All right, we're gonna move down the lake. Get some lunch, same time. Eat on the move. Don't waste time. We're gonna sit out here off this hump for just a little bit. Just for the heck of it. Cause I got nothing better to do, right? Take a jig and drop that all the way down there. I'm gonna throw a crankbait down there a little bit. There we 
No, got him. Got him. With a jig. Oh, well, there we go. That's a little better fish. Yeah, that's a little better fish. Come here. Got him. There we go. That's a little better. I like that. On a jig. Put him out. I'll tell you what we did. There we go. Probably good. That one's probably going to make 15, I bet. On that blue-black jig. Let me, uh, hey, just I'm not sure if he makes 15 or not. We'll take a quick look here. Oh, better than that. More like 16 and a half, huh? All right. 16 and a half. Not a bad fish. I like that. Now, I'll explain what we did. 13, 14 feet, 13, 14 feet, about nine feet right in front. There's a hump right here. Bob and I caught fish off this hump last year. So as I was going over, I saw it. I said, ah, what the heck? So we just turned it around, hit it in spot lock, and we're sitting. And from there, just tossed out the jig, let it hit the bottom, and then slowly pick it up, bring it down, pick it up, bring it down, and he hit it right out in front of the boat. Find if there's another one out there. All right, didn't find any more with the jig, but before we leave this hump, we're going to run this crankbait down over it. See if we can find anything with the crankbait. There we go, right there. Yeah, not as big as the last one, but it is still a fish. Yeah, you're a little guy compared to the last one. You managed to get almost every hook in you, didn't you? Out of two treble hooks, you must have had five, of, five out of six of those things in you. How'd you do that? There we go. All right, not real big. Still doing it with that bluegill pattern that I painted. The D6 style. DT6, sorry. All right, we're going to work this broken up concrete wall here. Now do it with a jig. And we're going to see if we can pick up one more fish before calling it good, huh? Bluegill, I bet, a real little bass, one or the other. Yeah, there was just a little. Little something out the end down there, but. Probably a bluegill, could have been a real small bass. Same thing there. They're just playing with it, but they're not. Oh man, that one took it. <laughs> took it, but didn't get it. There we got him. Took me about three times. We uh, took about three times to pull something out of there. <laughs> something kept hitting it, but I couldn't hook it. That's probably why it wasn't real big. Hey, blue black jig. Get motor in. Get out of here a little bit. Well, guys, we got a few fish. Now, I caught quite a few on this. This is a, a knockoff of a Rapala DT6. Uh, the painting video will either come before or after the fishing video. I don't know which, one, which way it'll be yet, but. I'm not quite ready to recommend them. Anybody asked where I got them? I got them off Amazon because the normal place where I buy my lures is not doing any right now. China, they're kind of slowed down. 
had to do a lot of work truing this thing up left and right, more than I thought I should. I gave a couple of these to a guy that went and fished a tournament this weekend. I'll see what he thinks when he gets back, but uh, I'm not ready to recommend them as of yet. But caught some fish with this, caught some fish with a jig, and the way it's been lately, that was a whole lot better in the last few days we've been out. So that's all I got. Thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope you're getting real soon.